Hey Budgeties, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you are new, my name's Mo, I'm 28, working on my financial freedom journey. And if you're returning, hey friend. Okay, so in this video, we're gonna go over our student loan debt. And it's for the month of March, and I have to bring that up because I know I kinda already, not kinda, your girl closed out March, okay? Closed it. <laughs> but I have to go over the student loan debt because I realized that I didn't do that. and. I like to do that to keep track of stuff. Um, I like to see the numbers. So I was gonna do it on or off camera. Might as well do it on camera so you guys can see. But yes, if you're tuning in and you haven't already subscribed to my channel, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. Check out some of my other videos where I go over my monthly budget. I just mind my husband and I's monthly budget, um, student loan debt, uh, monthly closeout, transactions, all the things. Okay, so we're starting off with the student loan planner. I made this for myself. These are not for sale. Um, your girl's drinking water, okay? Because it's healthy, cold water. What is straw? I'm not bougie. I just, I prefer to put my mouth on the straw and not the cup. <laughs> mm -hmm. I gotta do better with drinking water. We gotta stay healthy, okay? Keep these student loans paid and stay hydrated. Okay, also the straw the calculator the pins all of this is on my amazon storefront so the link is below if you want to check it out click it out <clears throat> also yeah let's get into it i don't know what i was gonna say okay so student loan planner. so i started off i try to do this every video i feel like girl we're tired of it i understand but i just try because i kid you not i get questions all the time so i have two degrees i have a bachelor's degree and i have a master's degree do i work in my field yes i do I started off with $107,683.18. Why did you take out so much money? I did not. Most of that money was interest. Actually, half of that, because I took out 50 something thousand, was interest. Um, I started paying off my student loans in 2021. I graduated from grad school in 2019. Ooh, I'm killing y'all with the answers, because I know how they come. I graduated from grad school at the end of 2019, right before the panoramic. <laughs> the pandemic um and i start paying my student loans off in 2021 if you're like why did you wait i had a whole bunch of credit card debt so i felt like the credit card debt had higher interest i needed to pay that off because i was racking it up in grad school because i didn't have a lot of money so started paying off 2021 and i went ahead and named all of my student loans they are currently consolidated however i named each one i had before i consolidated them okay y'all Okay, now I know I'm gonna be paying more than $107,683.18. Why am I paying more? Because of interest. However, in 2021, there was no interest. So Jerry paid, ooh, too close to the fire. Okay. <clears throat> Store a little, 1240 paid. Hello Kitty paid. Let me know that. Let me the rat paid. Daffy Duck paid. Donald Duck. Okay, another thing. This green color here, my job has a loan forgiveness plan. Um, they pay off of, they can start at 10,000 going higher. They gave me 10,000. You gotta take um, taxes from 10,000, so it was about 8,000. So that helped me pay off the rest of Daffy Duck. That paid off Donald Duck, it's in that green, and this was in um, November, 2022. Bugs Bunny, that paid off Garfield. The job paid off and then a little bit went towards Winnie the Pooh and then I went ahead and paid off the rest. How did I get my job to do it? They had their own program, um, but I also had to sign a three-year contract to stay at my job or pay them the total amount back. So that was 2022. My three-year contract is up at the end of next year. So mm -hmm, good to know. So there's that. Winnie the Pooh is paid off. Kung Fu Panda is paid off. Mickey Mouse paid off Minnie Mouse is paid off yes Minnie Mouse is paid off and now we are on Don Leno so Minnie Mouse was 5,500 Don Leno is 8,458 if you couldn't tell it gets higher as we go up um but I'm not just going over my student loans I'm also going over my husband's and so he has a substantial amount less than student loans than me he does have one degree um his husband getting higher because of interest as well so he has a total of about thirty-three thousand. mine's is about 74 75 000. i round up we round up for him that's where he is and this is for march so we're gonna pick out a color to do no that's for february why did i say march that's for february we're gonna pick out a color to do for march okay 
So we're gonna go ahead and start with my student loans because you know, the more you know, why not? All right, so if you don't know, my student loan payment is $197 a month. His is about $300 a month, but we usually try to get extra. Okay, so first things first, the very first payment I did for mine, can you guys see this? Yes, you can. Okay, it would be March um, 12, 2024. Okay, and so the amount we put towards my student loan was the 197, which was what was due. Okay, okay. What went to interest? <laughs> this kind of makes me depressed, y'all. I'm not gonna lie. Because when you see this number, 196.92, that means, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, this means that the whole thing went towards interest, except eight cents. Yep, so the difference here is eight cents. All right, let's move on to the next one because there's no point in dwelling because I will get sad. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> okay, so the next one was the 26th. And I went ahead and paid 111.02. You're like, where did this number come from? This was, so 197 comes from my income or whatever. $111.02, that comes from YouTube money. So when you guys watch my videos or whatever and I get a paycheck from YouTube, I put that money towards my student loans. So um, yeah, however, none of it went towards the principal. And so it all went to interest yay that's sarcasm okay so the difference here is zero dollars wow <laughs> love that for me okay and then um i got paid my husband and i got paid we get paid the same week three times in the month of march so that third paycheck we decided to send 500 dollars towards our student loans so 250 for him 250 for me so that was 250 dollars however interest for me was one hundred and sixty six dollars and fifty five cents let's just do some math here 250 minus 166.55 make sure i can see that mm-hmm mm -hmm. that's 83 dollars and 45 cents that is the actual difference here 83.45 isn't this just so depressing <laughs> okay so now we're gonna get with the remaining the remaining number is how much i should have um <clears throat> on my actual account so we're gonna say seventy four thousand seven hundred forty seven dollars 92 darling and we're gonna subtract dot zero eight boom so we have seventy four thousand seven hundred forty seven dot eighty four same number here because there's zero of difference because it all went to interest seven or 7.84 and then we're going to take this number and we're going to subtract 83.45 and then that's going to give us 70 uh oh 4664.39 so some people are like well why don't you just pay it all at once here's the thing i feel like when i separate the payments it it um at least the interest doesn't accrue as much but who knows it probably does anyway one two the other reason why because paychecks right we divvy up our paychecks so i really didn't do much like <laughs> i have a 83 84 dollar difference when it comes for student loan payments in the month of march also march is when we had our wedding we are already married but we never had a wedding so we put most of our money towards our wedding for the month of march so that's depressing but yeah that's where we are I'm at about 74,664.39. But keep in mind, this was on March 30th. And we are now in April. So I'm probably going to try to see if I can do a screen capture. It's going to be more money because interest is going to interest, y'all. Interest is going to interest. So when we go towards how much have we paid off towards the $8,458? $8,458. We're going to minus 302. Well, no, let's do 302. Dot 66 plus 83.45. So $386.11 for March and February. So for February and March, going towards Don Leno, 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 I don't know. Okay, so 386.11 and then we're going to subtract 
$1,458. So now we have $8,071.89 left over to pay for this student loan. Um, It is what it is. I don't know. I kind of got an attitude. <laughs> but here we are, darlings. Here we are. Okay. Okay. So this is where we started off because I did just print these off for my husband. Um, He has two loans, subsidized loan and unsubsidized loan. Grinch, $2,999, 46 cents. And then he has Popeye, who is $31,016 um, starting off. Now in March, no, why do I keep saying March? February. In February, we gave him 50 for that one, 250 for this one. I will say this. My husband's student loan, okay, so my student loans are with Nelnet. My husband's student loans are with Advantage. And to give each loan a specific amount, they will not let us do. We have called. They will, if you give, if you say, hey, you want to give them $300, they no longer will let you delegate how you're going to send that $300. And I hate that for us. But I don't know. Like, it, if you can't control it, you can't control it. So I'm going to go ahead and go down, um... The payment for March for his loans. Okay, I'm not sure how I'm gonna do this because it's to two different loans. However, the interest, I only know the total interest. Like that's how Advantages tells us. So let's, let's just go ahead and start off with Popeye. Why not? So the first payment was on March the 13th. That's 2024. So we did a total payment of $300. However, um, Popeye is unsubsidized. So 250 went to unsubsidized. So it's kind of the same thing here, actually. So 250 went to unsubsidized. And the interest is what I'm struggling to figure out, like just for that one. But I know the interest total was $124.55. Let me see if I can figure that out first. Okay, so I talked to my husband about it for a hot second. The way we got the interest previously is we called, like to have it separated. So what I'm gonna do is guesstimate, cause I don't know, it's just, they're not working with you, you know? So 124.55 was the total amount. I'm gonna go ahead and give it, I don't know, I'm gonna just say the $6. So this interest for this $118, you know what? I probably shouldn't guess. I can just put the number down. Mm. I have no idea y'all. I'm just out here faking it till I make it. Cause if I, if I guess the number and then the remaining balance is different, then I could just say what the remaining balance is and do some math to figure out what the interest was but the only thing is since we're now looking and it's already april the remaining balance is gonna be different i'm going through it today okay y'all this video has just been so choppy for me because i've literally had to try to go figure out some numbers but let me tell you what i know i know that this loan right here is now down to thirty thousand five hundred fourteen dollars okay so that's gonna be for the end so let's just go ahead and write 330, 24. Okay, what we gave here um, was 250, but this is the unsubsidized loan. So you got, let me see, let me pull up my calculator. So I'm not lying. <clears throat> Y'all, it'd be math sometimes, okay? I think it was 227. Well, let's just, let's see. 250 minus it's just because I can't read my handwriting. $22.60. Yep, 22740. Okay, so this amount and this I did not choose this amount. I told you guys it chose it for us. I was choosing the 250 and the 50. Okay, and now so the remaining balance here, this is what I know because next time I guess I'm gonna have to just call every time is $30,514.30. That's what we know, okay? That's what we know. So we're gonna do the same thing over here. Same day, 24. This was a total of $50. And then on the 30th of 2024, it was 227.40 minus 
$22.50. That was $22.60. Mount Gibbons, $22.60. What we know <laughs> here is that the total is $2,000. Um, $899. $99.90. I'm really just not good at this right now. I'm just being honest. This is this is harder because his student loan provider doesn't give us detailed information. So I'm gonna have to call and fill in the blanks because I don't like that. And I put 118 because I was guessing. Don't be like me, don't guess. You know what? I don't know. You could do it if you want. It's just I would prefer to be accurate because I don't understand. But again, the website does not give you this information. So we literally have to call and see where it came from. Um, so I'm just gonna go like this. Okay. Okay, so this is where we are. That's like about a $100 difference right there. 2,999.46, now he had 2,899.90. And then he was at 31,000, now he's at 30,500, 1430. Um, that's about a $500 difference, right? Let me see. 31,000 minus 30,514. Oh, close. Um, we did get a decent amount of money for wedding gifts. We were, I'm gonna be honest, we were not planning to put it towards student loans because we wanna buy a house. <laughs> and we need a down payment but when i look at this i'm like wow maybe we should but i also know like i don't know paying 1700 dollars a month in rent is crazy and we don't own it so yeah okay so this is what we have right now this is the progress so my husband that's 486 and then we're gonna plus 100 dollars so since february there's been about 586 dollars down in his student loans have we paid more yes but has what's going to um the actual uh, principal has been 586 so and i'm guesstimating here because the numbers are not in my favor today um and as far as mo goes i'm gonna just start off with my number 107 683 i've been on my payoff journey longer than my husband he said listen during COVID, he didn't want to worry about it mind you during the pandemic we were not married we were so dating um and again he didn't want to worry about it he was also in school he didn't graduate college until 2020 i think don't quote me but yes, because I know he didn't, he wasn't able to walk. So definitely during college. Okay, so we start off with $107,683.18. We have minus $74,664.39. So we paid off $33,018.79 total. Um, that does not mean that's all that's went to the student loans because again, student loans, at least mine and his have interest. So this is where we are. I'm not I'm not satisfied with this because again there's so many holes, but at least we know the remaining balance and we know what went towards it. It's just I can't so that means that basically every time we do a payment, I need to go see what the remaining balance is and that way I can take the remaining balance from the amount given and then get the interest. But because <laughs> I waited until the next month to do it. I won't have that, um, which is gonna keep these blank. But when it comes to April, I will do a better job at tracking because yikes. And if you're like, girl, what about your man? Eh, I kinda, I kinda keep up with our student loans. He's just like, let's just pay it and move on. I'm just like, I wanna make sure the numbers are numbering because we've had problems with um advantage before so i just like to make sure the numbers are actually remembering out here okay now let's get into the even more depressing part because this is just not a good debt update video february 26 wait january february yeah 2024 this was the vertex 42 debt reduction calculator i love this thing i wish they were sponsoring they're not and it's free all you gotta look up is vertex 42 they have a whole bunch of different calculators debt reduction calculator is one of them you download the form, you put it on your, it's, I think it's Excel, yeah, and you fill in the numbers. Okay, so this is what I showed you guys last month, or, because it's technically April, so the month of February. 
Um, so our total balance is 108, 512, 04. Okay, these were the payments. Now, I just wanna say that these payments have officially gone up. Okay, let me see, these are Snowball and Avalanche. Let me show you something. I'm just not pleased, but it is what it is. This is what happens. We chose to enjoy our time, put a little bit more money towards our wedding. So these are the things we deal with. So I'm gonna show you guys the significant differences that I see here. Can I zoom you guys in just a little bit? Not too much. Okay. You see, the, this is the number I want you guys to look at. Right here. Do you see this? In February 26, my first loan, um, my student loan one, it w I owed $61,149.69. April 16th, $61,254.29. How is that possible? It's called interest. Bum, ba -dum, bum, 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 bum. <laughs> so, yes, our, our student loans have gotten a little higher. Um, well, this has gotten higher. But my husband's student loan number has gotten lower. His interest rates are lower than mine. So our numbers didn't really get higher. It went down some. So I'm not mad at that. I'm just not happy that this literally went up $100. Um, but that's okay, because now we're back in action. It's April and we're getting to the money. So what I do with these debt reduction calculators is I do two things. I just go ahead and put in the monthly payment. So right here, you can see the payment that we owe. Uh, my husband, we did 150, 150. We probably need to change that because again, they're not letting us separate it. Whatever. <laughs> um, mine um, is 197, right? I think so. Why is it in red? It's because um, the interest is going to be more than what the actual bill is. The bill is 45. The interest 66. If you guys, I recommend everybody do the math on the interest versus the bill because even if your bill is low but your interest is high. Sometimes your interest is gonna be higher than your bill, which means that your loan's gonna go up. Cough, cough, look at that 61,254. Even though I paid more than, I don't know if I put $300 towards it. It says 299.90. But <clears throat> my interest rates are 5.88, his is 4.5%. He's living the good life. So if we go ahead and do $2,500, which we was doing, well, we were trying to do $3,500 in the beginning of the year, we didn't do that. We um, just went ahead and took it down to twenty five hundred because we were trying to plan for other things in life. This will push us to May twenty twenty eight. Okay, I want y'all to see here twenty five hundred for February. It was at March twenty twenty eight. These are the differences that make me sad at night. <laughs> okay, so. Even though, okay, so interest paid here is 12,000, interest paid here is 11,987. Look at that, March, April, May. So this bumped us up two months. Um, so there's that, how fun, not fun at all. But if we go ahead and go back to the 3,500, which at once upon a time we were trying to do, it will take us to February 2027, and the total interest paid will be $8,259.58. Also, we are married and we file jointly. So basically, I think you can only do like $2,500 like tax credit for your interest. I think it's $2,500. It's in the $2,000, $3,000. It's not a lot of interest like that you can put towards it to reduce your income when you do your taxes. Why am I bringing that up? One, we just did our taxes. And two, I just think that's important. <laughs> I think the people should know these things. But yeah, so if we go up to $3,500, go back to $3,500, it'll bring us from May to February. So May, January, February, March, April, May, that's five months. And then February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. So that'll bring us up 15 months. Yes, I had to, I had to do the math, y'all. So adding another thousand will bring us up 15 months closer. Um, you can see here the 61,000 would be done in January 2026 as opposed to October 2026. Um, the 13,000 May 2027 as opposed to May 2026. Why? I don't know. But whatever. It doesn't matter because it's sooner. So January 2026, May 2026, 
January 2026 as well. My husband's student loans. And I know a lot of you guys are like, why are you guys just slowly paying away $2,000 life? And then the the last one would be that $30,000 one for my husband. If we were do it, to do it this way. This is just a synopsis. This is just showing us our options. I love to print these out every month because I just want to see like how far off, how far on the curve. This month we have, we've fallen off the curve. <laughs> we've fallen off the curve because March, April, May. I mean, this was in March. I'm sorry, this was in February. This is in April. So it makes sense. It pushed us two months. It does make sense. Um, not a fan. So I'm gonna talk to my husband, see what it is. We're gonna get a small tax return. We're probably gonna put that towards our student loans, but our wedding money, like again, I said, we wanna save for a house. So we're probably not, I'm just gonna be honest with you. We're like 90% sure we're not putting that towards our student loan debt because we wanna buy a house or something. We want something. So, so yeah. And we also want a honeymoon. What am I talking about? We haven't even gone anywhere for a honeymoon. So we want a honeymoon and we want a house. Um, but we're affordable people. So we know how to work the system, get deals. But I'm just saying, we're probably not going to put any of that towards this. But I am in store for a pay raise. So the more money I make, the more money I give to my retirement and my debt. So here we are. This month was just not the best month. Um, our student loans are down, okay? We <clears throat> owe less money, but our time has gone up because we've pushed the money back. That's sad. And my husband now owes like 30514 Is this it? 30514 plus 2899 Okay, so he owes about 33000 Yeah, yeah, still about the same amount, but... A few hundred shorter and then i'm still in the 74 thousands y'all so not a lot of progress this is what happens when you take off some time look at all this money that went towards interest only 83 dollars went towards um the actual principal it's depressing actually but here we are so at the end of this month i will give you guys an update on what our student loans are looking like for the end of april um and I'm going to print out another debt reduction calculator to see the progress. Have we caught back up to where we once were? Cough, cough in February. Or are we just pushed back forever? Or are we going to get extra money? Cough, cough the 3000 Hold on. This is February. Yeah. The 3500 versus the 2500 So questions to be answered. How do we answer the questions? Every Sunday, my husband and I sit down. We have a family meeting. We figure out our numbers, what we need to pay for, what's coming up, debts, um, tickets, anything that we have going on, finance-wise, romance-wise. We sit down on a Sunday and we talk about it. So this will definitely be a topic of our discussion because we got to figure it out. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys are doing better with your student loans than we are, okay? And make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in another video. Bye.